Hi everybody, hope you are all fine. This is Atik. I once again welcome all of you to our YouTube channel Engineering Drive. Dear students, let me discuss about internship. We know that most of the universities at present, they have made internship as mandatory in their curriculum. So, before a student needs to apply for the internship, the student must know what is internship all about. The clarity should be there. Once the student will get the clarity, then the student can move to the right approach. The student can follow the right methodology so that the student can get most of the benefits from the internship. So, my dear students, what I thought meant, let me give you a clear picture about what is actually the internship is all about. So, the first thing, what is internship? Who can join this internship? What is the purpose of doing this internship program? What is the duration of the internship? And who will be paid for doing this internship? So, these five questions I have framed so that you will get a thorough idea about internship program. So, dear students, let, without wasting your time, let us discuss this and have the answers for these questions now. The first thing, the first question that will come in our mind, what is internship? So, dear students, internship is a type of job, it is a type of job taken by the student taken by the student now you people will get one doubt why the student is why the student want to do job sir because student means student need to learn why student is interested in job during the studies my dear students internship is nothing but it is a type of job taken by the student why the student will take job if the student is taking the job from where the student is taking the job the student is taking the job from company, from an organization or from an high-end research institute. So, what the student will do? Student will take one small job and why the student will take the job? To learn some profession. That is very, very important. Job taken by the student to learn profession or any type of business. So, as a student, I want to learn something. I want to get something new. I want to improve my knowledge. So, what I am going to do? I will approach some company and the company is going to offer me internship. It means that the company is giving me some job. So, I am going to take that job. Why I am going to take that job? To learn some profession in which I am interested. That is internship first of all. And one more simple definition I can tell about internship is it is a type of contractual job between a student and a, and a particular organization. What is the meaning of contractual job? Contractual job means it is not a permanent job. You are going to help the company for some duration. Okay, as a student, you are going to help the company for some duration. This is internship. Now, one more thing about the internship that I want to focus is, Sir, why I am going to help the company, sir? As a student, why you are going to help the company? You are going to help the company in order to accomplish some tasks. So, that task can be developing a small set of programs. That task can be developing a software. And directly you are not going to help the company. The company officials are first of all, they are going to teach you. They are going to show you the working of that particular applications. They are going to show you the working of the software. First thing, theoretical sessions will be conducted by the officials to you as a student. Second thing, practical or training will be provided to you. So, once these two things are provided, you are going to help the company in doing that particular task. So, my dear students, I believe that you people got the clarity here. Oh, as a student, you will go to the company, the company officials will give you theoretical sessions. After theoretical sessions are over, they are going to have the practical training to you, training sessions. Once the training sessions are over, you are going to help the company. Now, the second thing, who can join? So, as internship programs can be joined by what type of people? So, mostly the internships are given only for the students. So, students means you are just studying their courses. So, students need to apply for the internship. Okay, this is the one of the clear answer that I have given here. Who can join? Students can join the internship to improve their knowledge. Okay, the third question, what is the purpose of this internship? What is the main purpose why students need to go to some particular company and learn the internship? 
and participate and register for the internship the reason is the practical exposure what is the reason practical knowledge now as a student most of you may say that sir already we are getting practical exposure in laboratories in our college already we are having labs we are doing practical sir what is the need of visiting the company and again having the internship dear students once you visit the company you will come to know their working environment you will come to know the real time exposure once you will get the real time exposure you will become slowly ready after your job after your studies for the job okay in order to give that real time exposure internships will be given internships are provided now at present the educations have found there are many companies have found in the education that in the educational institutions that and in the curriculum that there is one small problem what is that problem students are having good knowledge up to their educational level but once they will come into their btech once they will come in in the company after their btech or degree courses they are not fit for the real time jobs so in order to reduce that gap now at present most of the universities they have made internship mandatory so that students will get practical exposure of the company in real time okay this is the main purpose of having the internship program and it is made mandatory for the students and the fourth question very very important question what is the duration of the internship sir suppose as a student i am studying sir so i can't take out too much of the of the time from my from my studies because i need to concentrate on my classes i need to concentrate on my laboratory sessions i need to concentrate on preparing for my exams how i can take out the time for the internships or what is the duration so dear students the minimum duration for the internship is it will start from 2 weeks to 6 months so the a minimum internship will last for 2 weeks and the maximum internship program will be for 6 months it depends on the company which is offering you the internship program and here also students may get doubt one doubt sir which we need to prefer sir whether we need to prefer 2 weeks 4 weeks or we need to prefer the longest one 6 months dear students now you need to see your curriculum curriculum of your university regulations academic regulations their university will probably give you the minimum time that you need to spend for the internship program mostly the universities will give at the ug level 2 weeks or maximum 4 weeks so within this only the internship program duration will be there so that duration based on the duration you need to search for that company which is going to provide the internship program and you need to apply for it okay so this is the duration and if the student is at the pg level or the phd level and they want to do the internships then they can opt for 6 months 3 months depending on their availability of time okay now the most important and the last point which give you the idea about this internship whether a student will get amount for the internship or student need to pay the amount for the company for internship so the thing is who will be paid for this internship let us say one student has done an internship of 2 weeks in a particular company or an organization internship completed theoretical sessions completed training sessions completed now what happened after this so my dear students once your internship is over the company is going to provide you the salary actually we should not use that word salary it is nothing but your stipend simple terminology we can call why i am calling it as a salary because you have done some work there so that that will become your that will become your salary but actually it is a stipend so that stipend depends on the company company is going to decide that stipend the officials are going to decide that stipend and they are going to give you okay you will get stipend and the second thing the organization will provide you is the certificate this is internship completion certificate so the first one so student has completed internship in our organization so you will get one certificate and you will get the stipend so how much stipend the companies will provide it depends purely on that particular organization and its level okay so dear students stipend mostly depends on your duration and the type of work you have done now once i have now i have explained all these five answers to you now the last point if you concentrate here this will give you a clear picture of what is internship here if someone is giving stipend to you which means you are learning as a student you are learning 
practical knowledge there you are learning the working environment there and you are do helping the company indirectly and with that company is rewarding to you with some stipend as well as the certificate so if you are a student simply you need to submit this certificate to your college and the college is going to accept that you have completed your internship program so my dear students i believe that you got a clear idea about what actually internship is all about so it is a type of contractual job between you and the company or the organization so why we are not calling it as a permanent job you will get your regular job once you complete your education there you can get the long term job it can be for one year two years three years but it is purely a temporary job you will become you will become like, like an employee for only duration of time that is nothing but your internship and you are getting the prax practical exposure so dear students share this video to all with all of your friends so that they can get a clear picture about the internship program so with this let me close my today's session see you soon everyone take care allah hafiz